to North Carolina now and the law that's become a flashpoint. Tonight, dueling rallies over the controversial law touching on gender and sexual identity. Supporters gathering outside the state capitol in Raleigh while across the street opponents protesting the move. ABC's Steve Osinsami reports they're getting some help from Bruce Springsteen, who canceled a concert there. And we don't need Bruce Springsteen to come here and tell us. On one side of North Carolina State House tonight, hundreds of church families came to cheer the new law that keeps transgender residents from using the bathrooms they need and overturns discrimination protections for gay families statewide. What about the you know protection of Every Christians? Being, Christians are, we need to be protected. Across the street, no hate in my state. The no protesters who say the state house is full of bigots. It wasn't about the water fountains in the 60s, and it's not about the bathrooms today. Thank you. But today, supporters of the law were out in force. There were unkind words for Bruce Springsteen and his band, who were refunding tickets today for a concert he canceled in Greensboro in protest. Band member Stephen Van Zandt explains. Yeah, you got to hurt people economically to have them do the right thing morally. Singer Brian Adams just canceled a concert in Mississippi, protesting a similar law there. But tonight, Jimmy Buffett is saying his two concerts in North Carolina later this month will go on, despite what he calls a stupid law. The bathroom part of this law is what's driving its support. It appears unlikely it will be overturned. David? Steve Osinsami tonight. Steve, thank you.